Hello. Hello. Welcome. Um, I am currently packing for a trip that I leave for in two days. And one of the things that I need to pack is this. This is my everyday purse or bag or whatever, and I need to go through it and kind of reorganize, decide what things I'm going to leave home, what things I'm going to bring with me, and kind of make some more room so that it's better suited for travel. We are on my bed today because it's kind of the only space that I can really spread out. So before we start, I've got a couple things here. Um, number one is this little leopard print, print bag. So I'm going to be using this to put all of the things that I'm not taking with me in so they're all in one place when I get back and I can put them back in. I also have my passport. Which is something that needs to go in here sure. And the last thing is I've got this little bag. This little Ziploc bag. Because at least at my airport if you're bringing only a carry-on all of your Ziploc items or all your liquids and gel, sorry, have to fit in this one little special um, plastic bag. I don't have the specific airport plastic bag with me, but I think this one is probably a similar size if I had to guess. Um, so we're going to kind of be using this to gauge how much room we have left. As you can see, I have things like my makeup remover. I've got some sample jars that I've put my face cream and wash in and stuff. Some shampoo and some conditioner. And just some mascara and concealer. So that is what I'm currently bringing as my liquids and gels. And then I know there's a couple other things in this bag that hopefully will fit in here. So I'm going to set this stuff off to the side. And we're just going to start laying everything out. So we're going to start with the first pocket here. has my little coin purse wallet in it, which we can set right there. It also has my little keychain with my car keys and my house keys. Is another more you know, kind of bulky keychain on a little toggle here. And this has my just extra key. 
keys that I need that I don't use every day. Oh, oh no. So I'm going to take this off. And then the other thing that I have is anything of Werther's original candies. And oh, two barrettes. And then in these pockets, hopefully I'm not revealing anything. I just have a series of cards here, which I need to see which ones I still need. Okay, let's put these away. Just put any that are kind of everything out of this pocket. So these are kind of the things that I have left here. Um, I don't need to take this Value Village coupon with me. And I also I might need this for work. It's just a museum. Sorry, the cars are loud. It's a museum admissions pass. Um, a Tim Hortons gift card. I don't think I'll be using that. Ooh. Um, my PC Optima card. I'm also going to leave here. And another gas card. I used to work, um, farther away so they'd give me gas cards to help um, contribute to my commute, so I guess I haven't used some of them. Okay, so I'm also going to be leaving the Werther's Originals and the Barrettes. So I can set this aside, so the only things that I'm going to be keeping in here, I believe, my car keys, my wallet, my air tag, and this museum admissions pass in case in the next two days I need to go to the museum for work. So I'm going to be putting this set of keys away because I don't think I'll be needing it. There's a little phone magnetic pocket here, but I don't usually ever keep anything in there except my phone. So the next pocket is the main one, and this one holds lots of goodies and treasures that we're going to need. First things first, I have another receipt that I'll just get out of the way now. Okay, so first thing we have is a little 
lint brush that I keep with me. We have some cocoa shea butter hand cream from Bath and Body Works. vanilla chai hand sanitizer a Laneige lip mask case. You have to respect the Ray-Bans case with not Ray-Ban sunglasses inside. But I do have the case. Sunglasses. I'm going to put them like this. There's a lot of cars. A shoehorn that I keep with me. I am addicted to shoehorns, so I do have one that I love. Actually, a mini travel watercolor set um, that I have with me for some reason. And there's a lot of other goodies. Maybe I should start by clearing. I am going to be bringing this, but I'm going to be setting it aside. I'm also going to be bringing this travel watercolor set. Um, I'm going to be bringing my sunglasses as well. I think you would not want to be without a lint brush while traveling. This might not go in this bag, but I'll put it in my other bag. But... And then... I don't think I'm going to bring my lip mask, but I would like to have some hand sanitizer and hand cream on me as well. So the next stuff we have are, yeah, I don't think I need the shoehorn. <laughs> a lot of sirens happening right now. Okay. Sorry, there's a lot of sirens happening. I have some hydrogen peroxide. A little lighter. A lip little perfume 
machen. A second perfume. A lipstick. Go squeeze, which you don't need. A word search. Let's see. Um, another bread. Some hair elastics and some jewelry. story about this knife. I usually keep this in my bag with me and when I was going on a different trip a couple years ago, I realized before we went through security that I had this knife in my bag and I was like, oh my gosh, how could I be so stupid? Um, and I didn't want it to get confiscated because I really like this knife. Um, so me and my friend, it was nighttime outside, and me and my friend went out, um, like outside of the airport, and we buried this, and then we came back a week later and dug it up, so that's crazy. I have buried a knife outside of the airport before, so we're not going to be doing that again. Um, I'll put that aside. I think word searches are a perfect thing to travel with, keep you busy. So I do love this word search book, so I am going to bring this with me. Here we go. Um, this is the perfume that I'm going to be bringing with me. It's an old scent bird bottle, but I put um, the Dior perfume that I've been wearing lately. It's pure poison in there. I'm going to leave it out of the case though because the case takes up a lot more space. So we're going to put this in the... I guess we can put I'm going to be leaving the hydrogen peroxide. I'm going to be leaving this lipstick. I kind of want to bring this one. I don't think lipstick counts as um, like a gel or anything. So I want to bring this one. But I'll leave the lip gloss. And I'll bring the case. And I will leave the lighter. And this one, this is Cell Ocean. I don't know. It smells really good, but... And then, I think hair elastics are always good to have in your bag. And I'm not going to bring these earrings with me. Or this bread. So, there we go. There's another little tiny pocket let me make sure I didn't miss anything. Let's see, we have some wrappers in here that I don't want to take with me. Um, no. So inside here, I wonder if I can show you. There's this little plastic compartment, which I kind of keep some random things in. So I keep this big hair elastic, which I guess I don't need, some cough drops, which I'm not going to take, some assorted 
good band-aids um, which I am going to bring it's always good to have even if it's just for blisters so I will be bringing those and a tide be bringing this with me. I'm hoping, I don't know if this counts as liquid, I don't know if it would say. Gosh, I don't get the eyes, no. Stain remover. Does this, no. I feel like it's like a mark. So that's everything from that pocket. I'm going to wait to put everything back. And then the last pocket, we also have some hair elastics, which I don't think I need that many of. I have some dental floss. I will definitely bring bring it with me because if you need floss, you need floss, and there's no substitution. I have a highlighter which I use for my word searches, but this color doesn't show up well, so I'm not going to bring this. I will bring a different color. And then I also have some little garbage wrappers. And another hair elastic. Okay. Now we can kind of start putting some things back what we want to bring with us in this bag or to another bag okay so let's start by putting our liquids in our ziplock okay so sanitizer and I'm going to run the risk that this is not a liquid We will soon find out. Okay, so I think hopefully these are all the liquids that I need to pack and I didn't forget any because I think that this is a very reasonable amount. So we can just in the toiletries bag, but I'll put these two things in there.
along with the dental floss. Can go in here. Okay. Now we have the bigger items. I think I'm going to put my passport in the back pocket. Um, I don't know if I should put my word search in there or not. Yeah, we can do that. That's fine. Oh. I will also bring me... of the one there and I'm also going to bring oh no little black pen because I am going to be bringing my journal so I'll put that in there as well um, that can be everything for this pocket and then I will put this sunglasses and I do need this because I know that the um what the outfit I'm going to be wearing just to the airport is going to have lots of light it's all black so, it's just to clear this off a bit more. So it's not so used. This is packed. And now we will create. Goodness gracious. Fun fact about me, I don't um, smoke at all, but I do 
do have a lighter with me at all times. Um, but I actually went to a birthday, like, kind of party, but it was at this local, um, brewery that we go to all the time. Um, and it was, so it was not at, like, a house. And they didn't have a lighter to light the birthday candle. And I did. So, it's also really funny because it's very clearly like a kind of torch style lighter, which feels very intense for someone who does not, um, who quite literally has this in case uh, their car breaks down in winter and they need to light candles. <laughs> so, um, Fisherman's friends and the Werther's. I feel like that is two very like old lady things to have in your bag. Along with the Manage, I'm gonna put some on as like a farewell. I really do want to bring this, it's just so soon.